In this video, we're going to have a look at the difference between speed and velocity. We're going to take a look at the difference between scalars and vectors today on High Peak Education. Hello everyone. In this short video, we're going to have a look at what's the difference between a scalar and a vector, between speed and velocity. That is between displacement and distance over a period of time. We'll take a look at that right now. So here we will perform a physics problem where we are looking at the difference between speed and velocity. So let's think of a simple example. Suppose the distance between home and the store is six kilometers and it takes 30 minutes to get to the store each way. So I want to know what is the average speed and then B, what is the average velocity? Okay, let's assume we go from home to store and then back immediately. Okay, so in part A, I think the average speed, S average, the average speed, is going to be the total distance divided by the total time. So, what is that? That is going to be 6 kilometers plus 6 kilometers over 30 minutes plus 30 minutes. So I think that's going to be 12 kilometers for every 60 minutes. But we know 60 minutes is one hour. So we can either write this as 12 kilometers per hour, or we could do this as, let's see, 12 divided by 60 is going to be, has a common factor of 6. So that's 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. So 1 over 5, 1 fifth of a kilometer per minute. Either way is a correct answer. By the way, 1 fifth of a kilometer per minute, that would be, there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, so that would be 200 meters per minute. And there's other ways you could write this. I mean, this is not quite an SI unit, so which would be meters per second. But we can convert this to meters per second if we want to go kilometers, meters, thousand meters in a kilometer, and then minutes and seconds, one minute, 60 seconds. So we should multiply by a thousand, and that gets 200 divided by 60. So it's 200 over 60, which is 20 over 6. So that's about 3.3 meters per second. All right. Then, how about what is the average velocity? Well, the average velocity is going to be the total displacement over the total time. Well, the total displacement is going to be the displacement of each time, there and back. Now, by the way, it probably makes the most sense to set up an x-axis this way, from home, let's say, towards the store. You should get the same answer if you set up the x-axis the other way, but it'll be 6 kilometers going to the store, but negative six kilometers coming back from the store, and divide that by, again, 30 minutes plus 30 minutes. But notice, that's just going to give us zero kilometers per minute. Now, why is that? Well, because if you start and you end at the same point, there's no total displacement. You haven't changed your position in the universe. Another way to think about this is that all the positive displacement and the negative displacement add together and cancel out. So here's an interesting thing. You can have a non-zero speed, but a zero velocity. So this is kind of interesting that velocity and speed are not the same thing. So what we saw in this video is that speed and velocity are different. Speed is a scalar, velocity is a vector. Speed, it doesn't matter which direction you're going. Velocity, it does. Speed, all that cares about is how fast. Velocity cares about where, which direction you're going in terms of a x-axis. You can have a non-zero average speed, but a zero average velocity. So if your total displacement is zero, your average velocity is going to be zero. That's because as far as you go out, you come back. But with speed, that's never going to be zero as long as you're moving. So like an average speed. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So thank you for watching High Peak Education. Please smash that like button if it makes 
you happy and it'll make us happy here at this channel. Please subscribe to the channel to grow the channel and social media links are down in the description box below. Please support us and we look forward to hearing from you soon and we will see you in the next video.